Today, Apple released the first beta of upcoming iOS and iPadOS 13.4 update to developers, and in it, we found a few changes and features that are worth sharing. And so in this video, we're gonna go over everything new in iOS 13.4. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Starting off with an iPadOS specific update, we have new keyboard shortcuts for the Photos app. More specifically, there are shortcuts to switch between the different tabs that you see at the bottom. You can create albums, you can search, and more. When you're viewing a photo in full screen mode, there are even shortcuts to delete, duplicate, or edit a photo. For the full list of shortcuts, simply hold down the command key inside any section of the app to see what's available to you. iCloud folder sharing is now available with the 13.4 beta, allowing users to share folders with other users so that you can add or edit files inside of a folder and they'll be able to see the changes as they happen in real time. This is a key feature that Dropbox has had for years. And for now, it's only been limited to sharing individual files with other people as opposed to entire folders. So if you wanna share an entire folder, you can now just simply long press the folder you wish to share and then tap add people. There are nine new Memoji stickers included in this beta that include options like a shocked face, face with hearts, eyes rolling, and much more. The Mail app has an updated toolbar design that moves the reply icon away from the delete icon, which a lot of people have been wanting. Apple and iOS 13 move these two buttons together for some reason, resulting in some people accidentally deleting emails instead of replying to them. The trash can also happened to be placed right where the reply icon had been in iOS 12, causing muscle memory issues. The new design, which is available when viewing an email, places the reply button on the far right, the delete button on the far left, and the folder and flag icons in between them. So now all you have to do is go back and relearn what you were already accustomed to so that you don't accidentally hit the wrong button. There's a new shortcuts option to Shazam it when creating a shortcut in the shortcuts app. So if you want to quickly and easily identify a song, instead of asking Siri to do so, you can just use a shortcut that you built inside of the shortcuts app to automatically identify what song is currently playing. Finally, here are some updates that I don't quite have the ability to test right now, but they're definitely worth mentioning and keeping an eye out for. Number one, Apple has introduced new functionality that will allow developers to bundle iOS apps, tvOS apps, and macOS apps together for one single purchase price. This allows developers to offer a single bundle price for the app across all platforms. CarPlay now offers call and third-party navigation controls inside of this latest update, and there also appears to be a new API called CarKey, which is designed to allow the iPhone and Apple Watch to unlock, lock, and start a compatible car. Users will be able to use car key in vehicles that have NFC capabilities with the iPhone or Apple Watch unlocking the car when held nearby. Authentication via Face ID will not be required and the initial pairing process will be done through the wallet app. If this is something that people can use maybe on cars that have just been out for the last couple years and don't require a new car to be purchased, that would be a huge update for me in my opinion because I hate carrying around my car keys and would love to be able to use my phone to control my car. Finally, I do wanna give a quick mention that Apple is also asking developers to begin getting their watchOS apps ready for in-app purchases for when watchOS 6.2 is released. I would love to know your thoughts on the latest iOS 13.4 update in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.